everyone, this is Juana Ivem Ramos from BSN3 Black D, a student nurse from the College of Nursing at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. For today's video, I will be performing or demonstrating the nasogastric tube insertion. Our assessment, first assess for the doctor's order and then assess the client's level of consciousness and level of knowledge and understanding. Next, assess the availability and functionality of the needed materials. Check for the history of nasal sub surgery or deviated septum. Assess the potency of NARES and then determine the presence of gut reflex. And lastly, assess mental status or ability to participate in the procedure. Next, for our planning, before inserting a nasogastric tube, determine the size of the tube to be inserted and whether the tube is to be attached to suction. And then, prepare for our equipment. First one is the large or small board tube. Non-latex preferred, non-allergenic adhesive tape, clean gloves, water-soluble lubricant, facial tissues, glass of water and drinking straw, 20 to 50 ml syringe with an adapter, basin, pH test strip or meter, bilirubin lipstick, stethoscope, disposable pad or towel, Clump or plug, it is optional. Anti reflux bulb or air vent if sealant pump tube is used. And then suction apparatus. Then safety pin and elastic band. And lastly, the seal to the back door, which is optional. So, for the implementation of the procedure, the first step is introduce yourself and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explain to the client what you are going to do. So, mom, this procedure is called the nasogastric tube insertion. In here, we are inserting a tube in your body for us to irrigate the food and medication and other nutrients that your body will need. By the way, I am Joanna Ivy Ramos from DSN3 Black B. I am your student nurse for today and the rest of my duty hours. If you have questions, don't have hesitate to ask me. And then next, assist the client to a high collar's position if his or her health condition permits and support the head on a pillow. Next, place a towel or disposable pad across her chest. Next, perform hand hygiene and observe appropriate infection control procedures like using a clean gloves. And then next, provide for our client's privacy. Close the curtains to the room or close the door to the room if possible. Next, we're going to assess the client's nares and then prepare the tube. Support the patient during the procedure. Determine how far to insert the tube. Use the tube to mark off the distance from the tip of the client's nose to the tip of the earlobe and then from the tip of the earlobe to the tip of the siphoid process. Mark this length with adhesive tape if the tube does not have markings. And then to insert the tube, first lubricate the tip of the tube well with the water-soluble lubricant or water to ease insertion. Insert the tube with its natural curve toward the client into the selected nostrils. Ask the client to hyperextend the neck and gently advance the tube toward the nasopharynx. If the client's gog stop passing the tube momentarily, have the client rest, take a few breaths, and take a sip of water to calm the gag reflex. To ascertain correct placement of the tube, aspirate stomach contents and check the pH, which should be acidic. Next, confirm by x ray. Next, place a status quo over the client's epigastrium and inject 10 to 30 ml of air into the tube while listening for a whooshing sound. Secure the tube by taping it to the bridge of the client's nose. For the evaluation, evaluate the patient's response to the procedure and then document the procedure and other important data on the client's chart. 
and that's all for our today's video thank you so much for watching